Hello, welcome to another session on comparing quantities. In this session, we'll be taking up a couple of questions on discount and few on VAT. I'll start with a very basic question on discount just to have, give you an idea of how a discount question um, would look like. This is one of the very basic questions I and mean, a simple percentage question though you know framed in form of discount like I say suppose you know the market price is given market price is supposedly given as some 650 rupees and a discount is offered at a rate of suppose 10 percent so you have to find the price selling price of it that means you simply have to subtract a 10 percent of 650 from the mark price 650 that will give you the selling price this is one of the very basic question there it might just, just change into i'm writing the second type and you have to find i asked you to find the selling price on the other hand you might come across questions wherein you have to find the marked price the selling price is supposedly given as some um, 3430 and a discount is offered at a rate of 2%. As you had learnt in the cost price of a reverse percentage question, this is one of such. You can simply find SP multiplied by 100 divided by 100 minus discount. The second one. And the third one might just be you have to find the discount percent when MRP and the selling price is given. Supposedly the MP is given to be some 625. The selling price is sorry, selling price is given as rupees 562.5 you have to find the discount person so first you find the discount in value that is so the mark price minus selling price and then you can convert that into percentage by discount by mark price multiplied by 100 that will give you the discount in percentage these are the very you know very three basic things we now move on to these kind of you know uh, applications in word problems i'll take up the first one here it says um, after allowing uh, discount sorry discount of 12% on the mark price of an article it is sold for rupees 880 find the marked price that means the discount is already offered on a marked price so we have to this is again this reverse calculation part this is this is the one okay you simply i'm not calculating the whole of it you simply have to find this sp in 200 by 100 minus the discount percentage. This will give you your answer. This is one of the very basic questions. Now I move on to other sc another screen to take up one more question which is not as direct as the, the previous one. A shopkeeper offers his customers 10% discount and still makes oh, a profit of 26%. 
what is the actual cost to him of an article oh sorry article marked at rupees 280 so the mark price is already given to be 280 i'll write whatever is informed to us the question it says marked price is 280 and there is a discount of 10 percent the marked price is at 280 and the discount is 10 percent let us first find the selling price of it so the selling price will be 10 percent of this is 28 10 percent of 28 uh, 280 is 28 so 280 minus 28 that is giving us 252 now by selling this at 252 he is still making a profit of 26 percent profit is equal to 26 percent so we have to find the cost price so cost price will be so yeah i'll write it again here it will be 252 multiplied 200 by 100 plus 26 so it's 252 divided by 126 that's giving us 200 as the answer the 200 was the cost price of this article which is now marked as 280 rupees thereby making a profit of 26 this this is how you know the questions of discount come, you will come across i take up one more maybe and then i move on to that let me go to another screen I need the whole space to solve the question. It says an articles, an article, name, it's articles uh, which is marked at a price which gives a profit of 25 person sorry articles are marked you know i mean the, the sentence doesn't sound complete so here i can write i'm just giving a mark here articles are marked at a price which gives a profit of 25 person now after allowing a certain discount sorry certain discount the profit reduces to 12 whole 1 by 2 percent find the discount in person so i've just given it a mark now to do such question it's always preferable to take the cost price as 100 so i start by writing let the cost price of any article be 100 let the cost price i can directly write this cost price of any art such article to be rupees 100 now marked price must be at a profit of 25 percent so marked price will be 100 plus 25 percent that gives me rupees 125 on this you will be allowing no it says uh, it will be allowing a certain discount the profit reduces to 12 whole 1 by 2 percent the profit will be 
12 whole 1 by 2 percent of the cost price. So what will be the profit? Profit will be 12.5 percent of cost price which I had taken to be 100. So that's obviously 12.5 or 12 whole 1 by 5 whatever you can get this okay. Now we know that marked price is cost price. Uh, no, this is the profit, right? So we will have to first find out the selling price is cost price plus profit. So it will be 100. I'm not writing any more about the cost price plus profit part. It's directly 100 plus 12 whole 1 by 5. So, sorry, 12 whole 1 by 2 or 12.5 I'm writing directly. That's giving me 100 and... 12.5 this is the selling price now marked price is always selling price plus the discount because after allowing a discount on the marked price we get the selling price so marked price will be selling price plus discount so this is 112.5 What did I do there? Well, I have to first find out. I will be finding out the discount, right? Find the discount. Okay. So, discount will be like marked price minus selling price. We had calculated marked price to be 125. We now calculated the selling price to be 112.5. I think that's giving me 12.5 right now this needs to be converted into decimal sorry into percentage to do so I'll write this is the discount by marked price into 100 and that I think is giving me 10%. So the, on the whole question, the discount which is supposed to be calculated is now 10%. I hope you followed this well. Uh, I'm taking up now the VAT questions. Moving on to another screen. Uh, just uh, just in uh, for any way, in a very short uh, way, it's a kind of a. Uh, the tax that gets added to um, any any kind of services or any kind of product you are buying and uh, finally the selling price we get is after adding the VAT that is value added tax okay one of the very 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 simple questions you will be coming across is that there is a list price given a kind of a tax rate is given you have to find the purchasing cost of the article this is one of the very basic question and it can also be a reverse one which I have just taken. I write a very, though a simple one, but it's not uh, the direct calculation of the value. The price of a TV set inclusive of VAT is rupees 13,530. If the rate of VAT is 10%, find its basic price. That means the price of 1350 includes the VAT. So let, I will, let me take the VAT, sorry, the basic price to be X. let the basic price of this article that is tv here be rupees x this means the vat has been added on x thereby giving me the equation x plus 10 percent of x is 13 530 so let us solve this equation i'm getting 110 x by 100 and that's giving me 13530 and they were giving me x as 13530 multiplied to 100 
510 this will give us rupees 12300 zero, zero. so the cost of the tv was 12300 and which got sold at 13530 inclusive of a vat of 10 percent we'll be taking few more vat questions application of the vat questions in the next session i hope you followed this simple one thank you